My name is Lucy Chepkoch Koske. I am 34 years old. I started working at the school five years ago. I used to teach those children as a teacher and even to be a guide and counseling to those adolescent ladies. Because of rheumatic heart disease, I had a stroke. I stopped working in the school. Because of the stroke, I could not work well. And then I saw that I will be tired. Melissa, it is just because I'm sick now. Uh, I'll just come back, continue to treat. The cardiac need in the hospital and in the region is totally unrecognized. I think that the statistics show that a third of people in the developing world die of heart disease. That's always a shock to people in this area. In my training as a medical student right through undergraduate, a lot of emphasis was placed on treating infectious diseases and uh, making sure that if there's anything that can lead to death within a day or within a week, that's the point of focus. There's not so much focus in terms of improving the quality of lives of people. Duke University and Ampath's collaboration really hit its stride around 2008 when the opportunity arose to apply for this NHLBI funded Center of Excellence grant. And we were fortunate to be one of three of these centers of excellence around the world, fully funded through the NIH. And so our focus was really to develop an organizational center to administer all the projects that we were doing, to develop a clinical care curriculum for training of physicians, nurses, allied health professionals, and to develop a clinical research training program where we could take a few of the best and brightest internal medicine consultants to become center of excellence fellows the first generation, perhaps, of clinical researchers. In 2008, we had uh, one clinic in the main hospital, just one room, really, where we saw patients. At the onset of the cardiovascular center, we moved to this building where we are now and created six rooms for examination and then we got our own three fellows, we got a medical officer, we got four nurses. I mean, the clinic suddenly became a very big clinic. Today we see about 60 patients a day. In a span of two years, the numbers have tripled and they're growing fast. And they're not growing because the patients or the population is growing at such a, a rate, but because the message is reaching that there is a center that's providing care and people can be seen and their needs met in that particular center. I think the vision here is that uh, we develop a center, a hub of the wheel, if you will, where we can receive patients that have such great need. Uh, I think to do that, we have to have this platform of a vigorous, active cardiac care unit that can take care of all people. Once we finish our cardiac care unit, we'll now be able to offer care to the very sick cardiac patients, both the adults and the children. They'll have dedicated nurses and also doctors taking care of them 24 hours. We'll be able to monitor them because now we have monitors and most of all we'll be able to follow them up because now they'll be our own patients so there is a general feeling of hope if I could say that at least there is something you're doing when you come to work in the morning and you can make a difference to the life of that patient. What I would like to see in the future happen is turn this into a fully-fledged cardiac center of excellence. To finally offer our patient definitive care at a price which is sustainable, affordable, and also reachable. Seeing patients feel better after being so sick, um, to see infants in mothers' arms who were terribly sick during pregnancy with severe valvular disease, to seeing a group of professionals begin to believe that it can be done is truly a joyful moment.
the CCU is just the beginning, uh, and Duke is very committed to continue to engage Duke faculty to spend time on the ground, not only to educate our own fellows who will visit and get the, the benefits of this bi-directional opportunity, but also to continue the goals of educating the next generation of Canadian cardiac physicians uh, based on a curriculum we've developed, which is likely the first focused cardiovascular training curriculum in all of Kenya. In these past few years, I've gotten to learn to take care of patients, not just for the sake of treating them and we're done, but you take care of them and you walk with them and every day they come back to you, you will remember who they are. You'll remember them as a person because your focus is to make their lives better, to make their lives more functional, to be able to do a lot more for their families and make people better citizens for their country. At first I accept myself as a positive lady with that disease because I know if you accept to be a positive, you live long. And I think that God one day will be okay like any other people.